Today I decided it would be a great day to check on my 165 watt solar panel system and perform some cleaning maintenance. When I first saw the condition of my solar panels, I was not that surprised. Spring just started a few days ago and a lot of flowers and plants are starting to bloom, which as a result produces a lot of pollen. And as you can see, a lot of pollen is accumulating on top of my panels. This thick layer of pollen can definitely reduce the amount of power my solar panels can produce. So before I clean my solar panels, I wanted to see how much power they are currently producing with the pollen on top of them and kind of do a comparison between the power output of the dirty solar panels with the pollen and the results of power output once I actually clean the solar panels. So I hooked up my digital multimeter directly to my solar arrays positive and negative connections to see how many amps it was producing. I currently have 355 watt solar panels hooked up in parallel and each panel produces 3.1 amps. So my solar array should produce around 9.3 amps total. So while performing this test, the sun was almost directly over the solar panels. So I should still produce somewhere around 9 amps or more. But as you can see, that is not the case and they are only producing around 6.7 amps max. So next I began to clean the solar panels and the cleaning solution I'm using can be found from my last year's how to clean solar panels video. And I will provide a link to that video in the description. So to the side here, you can also see the simple ingredients I am using for this cleaning solution. And again, a big thanks to the guy named Miguel on YouTube for this actual cleaning method. I should also point out again that there are many solar panel cleaning solution kits online, but some can be expensive. And in my case, this method comes out to be cheaper and easier. After cleaning the solar panels, I rechecked with my digital multimeter to see how many amps I was producing. And as I predicted, the pollen does have a tremendous effect on the power the solar panels can produce. And while performing this test, I received around 9.7 amps max. Next, I checked the condition of my solar panels and I found more discoloration on some of my solar cells. Last year, when I contacted the company I bought the solar panels from, which was UL Solar, regarding this problem, UL Solar stated if the panels were not outputting the right amount of power that they should be for their age, they would have no problem replacing the solar panels since they do come with a 25 year warranty. But I still wanted to see what causes this discoloration. So after doing some quick research, I found that some say it's a problem with materials or the workmanship when the solar panels are being produced, or it is caused by moisture from condensation on the metal contacts to spread out away from the surrounding cell surfaces. And the list of possibilities just went on and on and on. So the root cause or the root causes hasn't really been found, but one can probably conclude that it has something to do with the workmanship when the solar panels were being produced and all the air was maybe not fully vacuumed out. And after being exposed to the sun and heat, this problem starts to occur over time. But in many cases, the solar panels do produce the amount of power that they are supposed to. So whatever is causing this does not appear to be affecting the power output yet, I should say. In my personal educated guess, over time as these discolorations or snail trails increase and grow in size, the life of the solar panels will decrease. But only time can tell and I will keep you all posted. But as mentioned, US Solar did state that they will have no problem replacing the solar panels if there is an issue with the power output. So I just wanted to fill you all in on the condition of my solar panels and I've had these solar panels installed for almost two years now and I've had no other issues with them. So it has been fun and I will see you next time.